In this snip, we're going to cover how to set up a custom operating environment on Windows using Boxstarter and Chocolatey. Before we get started, please ensure Boxstarter and Chocolatey are installed. You can reference my snip on how to install Boxstarter before we continue. And for this snip, as you can see, I've already installed it. First, we're going to create a set of credentials that we'll be using later on once we're ready to run the Boxstarter script. Next, let's go ahead and build our Boxstarter script. So in order to do that, we're going to go ahead and use the install hyphen box starter package commandlet because our intention here is to invoke box starter to kick off a package. Then we're going to go ahead and provide the package name parameter. And as you can see, this might be confusing, but I'm not actually providing a package name. The reason being is that we actually didn't go through a package creation and, uh, and instead I'm providing a raw URL to a GitHub gist. It encapsulates all the logic that we want to execute on our machine. Because Boxstarter does not require an actual package, you're allowed to provide a script or a text file, and then Boxstarter will in turn convert it into a temporary package, as you can see down here. And this is essentially the same method we're going to be using, package with, without a package. Now, before we move on, we should go over to our GitHub gist and look at the logic. First off, we're going to run a few functions that are provided by the box starter module. One of them is to disable UAC. And the reason I like running this at the beginning of a box starter package is because it's going to allow us to run the rest of our installations or tasks with, without a hitch. Then I go into a multitude of Windows desktop experience customizations and that I'm very happy to hand over to this particular tool set. So things like disabling the game bar tips, enabling hidden files, uh, showing protected OS files and showing file extensions. Things like, you know, advertising, Wi-Fi sense, the start menu, the explorer. I mean, I can go on and on and on. And you can get very creative with this. Now I want to direct your attention to the part where Boxstarter invokes Chocolatey. I'm going to have Chocolatey install Google Chrome, Skype, Firefox, and Ditto. And um, these installations will leave icons on the desktop. I also have the intention of installing Docker for Windows using Chocolatey. But before I can do that, we're going to need the prerequisites installed. I'm going to invoke Chocolatey here to install these Windows features. It is a capability of, of Chocolatey to do so. Uh, we're going to install Microsoft Hyper-V. We're also going to install the containers feature. And why not? We're going to go ahead and enable the Windows subsystem for Linux feature so that I can go into the Windows Store and pick out a distro after we're done. And as you can see here, I'm installing Docker. I'm also invoking the installation of a module. Uh, posh Docker so we can get uh, tab completion for Docker. Uh, why not? Let's do PowerShell Core, Git, VS Code, the HyperShell, and Remote, even the VMware PowerCLI module, which is going to take a while, but I thought it'd be a good experiment to add in there. And now I'd like to direct your attention to uh, this other logic here where we're removing unnecessary applications. Uh, they're mostly Windows Store applications. And as you can see, I have those applications in here, and once this process is complete, you'll start to see that um, we'll have less icons showing in the start menu. We're going to get rid of things like Bing Weather, News, Sports, and so forth. And uh, last but not least, we're going to go ahead and set our UAC back to enabled, and um, I'm also going to want to change the generic name of the computer. So right now I've got a generic name. I wanted to name it techsnips-bm at the very end, and that's another capability that we're showing here from this tool set. Okay, so let's go ahead and now run the script, and uh, let's take a look at some of the process. So again, set up your credentials before you run the script. The reason why you want to set these credentials is because at the end of the script, we're going to go ahead and provide those credentials because Boxstarter, again, uh, provides a reboot resiliency and so anytime there's a reboot detected by Boxstarter 
it's going to perform that reboot and it needs a way to log in so you just provide those credentials to box starter and it will log in automatically and continue running the tasks uh, within that script or within our package okay let's go ahead and uh, run the script and see see what we get so I'm going to move my window a little bit so that we could see some of the action going on on the desktop. You already see that hidden files is being enabled or has been enabled and um, you're going to start to see icons for the desktop and again I'll let this process run and I will also let it run to the point where you're seeing a reboot and um, then we'll go ahead and come back once the entire process is complete. As you can see here, the Windows subsystem for Linux is installed, Hyper-V is installed, the container features installed, and now we're having Docker for Windows installing by Chocolatey. And this is one of the major things we're looking for. Okay, and we're back. And as you can see, Boxstarter has completed its package installation and is wanting to exit. So before we exit, I'd like to show you on the desktop, right, that we have installed applications like Skype, Google, Chrome, Visual Studio, Hyper, and Remote. You can see there are some hidden files showing up. We can also validate that our Windows features were enabled, right? So as you can see here, we have containers enabled and we have all of the Microsoft Hyper-V features enabled and for kicks I believe we wanted to enable the, the subsystem so you see that that was enabled the other thing we did was we cleaned out a bunch of Windows applications Windows Store applications and as you can see I'm gonna hit the start menu here and most of them are gone that were here before and there you have it that's how you set up a custom operating environment on Windows using Boxstarter and Chocolatey thank you for watching